joined now by San Jose State women's basketball head coach Jamie Craighead after her Spartans uh, defeated Cal State Bakersfield 67-57 to win the home opener. Coach, you want to start us off with an opening statement, please? Uh, the first one's the hardest one to get. Uh, it's been, you know, we've been practicing a lot for a lot of months, and we still have a lot of holes to fix, but I thought uh, the defensive effort after our UCLA game, we came home and I finally made a, a decision defensively that we are going to be a pressure matchup team um, and that we have to get better at that defense because our kids can't run multiple, multiple defenses yet. We have to be really good at something. And um, I thought that they did a great job. We're playing a team that it probably helped because they weren't tremendous three-point shooters. Um, but the defense in itself is supposed to protect the three-point line as well. But I thought it was a tremendous effort. Um, we had some low points and some high points, um, but it was it was a great effort by everybody. How big was, uh, I think Bakersfield came back and tied it midway through the fourth, fourth at 50. Your team didn't buckle, uh, went on a 9-0 run and really put this game away. How important was that little run? I mean, it was big. Um, I told them after the game, I, I haven't seen them in these moments yet. You never know with a new group. I mean, there's not too many people I can look at and go, well, I know what you're going to do in that moment. I know what my mind's going to do, and that's it. Um, I thought she did what I expected her to do, but um, they're not, they're really a fearless group. And I said that after UCLA, you get smacked right on the face, you know, over and over again. And um, they just don't care. Like, well, we're going to play again. We have more games and we're going to come back. And I thought that that spirit showed today. Um, and I, I think that we can definitely build on that. And um, I thought it was a great effort by our sophomores. You know, I thought Maya got off to a, a rocky start, but she kind of picked it up. Lise, Tremendous in terms of hitting big shots and big moments. Call her big shot Bob from now on out. Um, Robert Ory, um, basketball thing. Um, and I thought Taylor uh, did a good job. And Danae, when she went in, I think for Danae, and I said this to the group, that the freshmen have to learn that, that urgency is at every possession. And there were times where it wasn't urgent physically. I think mentally they get that, but physically they don't know. Go grab the ball with two hands. Go get the ball. And um, so I thought it was a good effort. How about, uh, you know, in the past couple of years, we've relied, your team has relied on one or two players to do the bulk of the scoring. You're starting to see, I think, 13, 14 players played and 11 of them scored. How gratifying is or how happy are you that you know, you're starting to see this? The scoring is more balanced. You can't just go out there and stop one person. You got to stop this whole team. And it's only the first game. Yeah. So it's, it's hopefully going to build. One game. You know, we have to, there's a long way to go, but um, depth has always been a part of um, my coaching philosophy, and we've just never seemed to be able to muster up that kind of depth. Um, maybe it's because we've had some tremendous players that, some of the best players I've ever been around. I mean, in, in a Des Ramos and a Trey Cunningham, and even shooters like Rebecca Woodbury and interior players like Jasmine Smith. So I think that that's what makes it difficult as a coach. You go, well, I need them on the court, and now, I feel like uh, I have pretty good balance. I mean, I think that our freshmen can do some things. And I think our sophomores understand they're a year older and they're a little bit more competitive and play a little bit more urgent. We've got Mai Mai, who's probably the best of the group that could be left over to play with this young group because she enjoys the game. She's not going to scream at them. She's going to allow them to be them. And so I think she leads them. Hallie gave us big minutes. Um, Dre's going to play more and more. I think I'm leaning towards Michaela being more around the rim. We've played her out on the perimeter, but she's so physical and can grab rebounds, and maybe we can help her uh, this year play in there and develop her uh, you know, per perimeter game. And team only shot 38%, but you were getting the shots that you wanted. You were getting the ball inside. Sometimes it was just the ball wasn't going down. You're, it seems like at times they're really getting what's going on. Yeah. You just got to convert those. I just think young players try and score before they have the ball. So you see the passes coming, you get really excited, and then all of a sudden the ball's not there anymore, and you threw it out of bounds because you bobbled it, um, or you get locked because you bobbled it and the defense recovered. So again, that's that urgency thing, and I think that's what you're seeing with our interior game, our post players inside, um, with the exception of Michaela, who's just so much more physical. I mean, she's she can take a beating in there, and she can give one pretty good. Um, but we've got to get better inside, and uh, I think that will help but the balance helps us moving the basketball. Um, I thought we did it, you know, relatively well. The turnovers, I can't even remember. Like, I didn't feel like they pressured us. So that's a little disheartening. 
Um, you know, but they play that wacky zone, and uh, we haven't seen it yet. These kids haven't seen it. I was gonna say, how tough is it to play a team like that? That offensively it seems to be utter chaos at times. Yet to me, their defense is utter chaos, and you know, I think that they have a lot of um, you know players that can get up and down, and um, they play kind of chaotic, and and sometimes um, you know they're young too, and they're trying to get in a rhythm, but. Uh, I, I thought that our, our kids handled it pretty well. I thought the game got a little bit too aggressive when consistently it was called the same way for you know the first 30 minutes. I thought it was pretty even both directions. And then they let some more contact on the ball handler go. Taylor gets thrown to the ground on that last possession. That's a foul. I mean, yes, yeah, she fouled after the fact, but you got to call that initial one. So I thought our kids handled some things. I got to see them in situations where they could have got tight. We could have given the game away, um, but they battled through. So. Um in second quarter, you guys struggled up to shoot the ball only six points, but then it seemed like your defense responded in the second half of the beginning. What did you guys tell? What did you tell your team out there? You know, uh, for us, that's what we talked about. That, hey, uh, we went cold. I thought we got some good looks. We just didn't hit them. And then I thought we did some uncharacteristic things offensively. We were trying to force things instead of just moving the basketball, which we did in the first quarter. Uh, but I thought our defense held. Um, again, it's a little chaotic group. They were one for ten at half from the three. Uh, I thought they got some things off penetration. Um, when we gave up some positions, but for the most part, I thought we played the defense pretty well, and that was with me still subbing pretty liberally. So um, that was, you know, good. And obviously, they they scored some in that second quarter, but a lot of it came off of putbacks if we didn't read them. In the third, in the third quarter, there it seemed like they started to make their move to start coming back, but then yep. Taylor took over. And yep. what what do you need to see from her going forward like that? You know, uh, I just need her to make the right decisions. Um, Taylor is a scoring guard by nature, she likes to score. And it's what I love about her because I think you have to have that. And I think her and Danae are a great balance for one another because Danae's gonna shoot the three and Taylor's gonna drive, drive, drive. And um, you saw that at the end of the game with them on the court, we can put them both out there together because Taylor is a scoring guard. Um, just making the right decisions. Cause at the end there, she threw a ball to Sid and I'm like, why throw that pass? Just take it up the court. And she said, at least she goes, I shouldn't have thrown that. You know, that that's progress for Taylor. and. Um, we can get those things. I just need her to make good decisions in the right moments. Um, and other than that, I thought she played well. So it feels like every team wants to have someone like Mai Mai on their team. If a hustle player like that, what is that as a luxury for you? To be honest, um, I think I take her for granted because I'm watching everyone else on the court and I don't have to worry about her. And I mean, it's great. But like when she came up with those steals, I had no idea what was going on because I just saw somebody blow this and blow that and I'm trying to get them back on defense and then she steals the ball and goes back the other way. Um, she can get better too. And I keep reminding her, hey, you gotta be sharp. Um, I thought she should have finished a layup there at the end that she didn't. She could have dribbled it out and taken time off and that's the stuff that she's gonna have to do now because a year ago we used to just throw that ball to Des and she makes the decisions. And I think Mama can help us with that. How do you see your team learning through two games this season? You know, they make progress, they do. And um, I think that it's helped that we've tried to simplify things defensively. It's funny, um, Taylor said to me at one point in the game, um, are, should we change the defense? And at that point, they had only scored two points in like eight minutes. And I'm like, that's not the problem, it's our offense. So uh, I think that if we can keep things simple for them, on that end, we'll be able to hold when our offense maybe isn't clicking. But this group can score, it's just, getting in the right rhythm and everybody feeling that they're comfortable. So I, I expect that that's where we'll progress the most. And maybe if we can just keep staying solid defensively and get better at those couple of defenses that we can mix in. Um, you know, we have a shot. The, the conference is pretty wide open. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck on Sunday against Portland State. Thanks. OK, we're joined by student athletes, my Janique Ladd and Taylor Turney after the Spartans 67-57 win over Cal State Bakersfield. Obviously not the cleanest game by any stretch of the means, but uh, how does it feel to get your first win? Um, it feels great. Like We've just been wanting to win more games this year. That's what we've been focused on. And it feels really good. Even when we're getting hit and stuff, it's worth it at the end. So just put up a fight. So Taylor, for you, obviously without you guys were almost the lineup, if you're in a line, you score a lot of times. And you went on your little stretches there to get you guys to extend the lead when you guys are struggling. How did, good does that feel? And how are you feeling your rhythm right now? Um, well, it always feels good to score. You know, it's fun. Um, I try to be versatile because if other teammates aren't hitting their shots, then I need to step up, obviously. And um, I'm just happy with this group. Like, we want to work hard. We want to win games. We want to push through every single situation that we can. So I feel great. 
uh, my my view, uh, 11 rebounds and uh, three steals, trying to get all over the place on the floor. A lot of puzzle plays for you. What did you see out there? Uh, what do you mean? What did I see, like, personally yeah, or personal. as a team? Yeah. Personally, um, you know, I can sit here and go on and on about the mistakes that I made on the court, but i rather discuss the, the positive things that my teammates did, which was we hustled, we worked hard. Uh, we kind of had, like, a little downfall second quarter and somewhat third quarter, but we picked it up. Energy level was great. Uh, once again, we hustled and we did what we needed to do, playing our game, and that's what got us the victory. My mind, how important was it to play well in this game, or how important was it to win this game and kind of leave UCLA behind or put that behind you? Um, I mean, <laughs> I feel like it's important to win every game. But I mean, uh, I think this was a good game for us because we just, you know, it wasn't about the score at UCLA, it was about the effort that we had. And our coach was part of our effort. I'm part of our effort at UCLA. Uh, everyone was part of our effort there. So bringing that here to today's game, it was major and it was very key and it shows and it tells teams what we're capable of and what we're capable of doing. And uh, even though we didn't do too good out there and we still got the win, I know and she knows that we can do better. And I just want to add to that, um, at UCLA, um, you know, they're eight in the country. Like we just wanted to do what we can do and see how we can grow from there. And I mean, we hung our heads a little bit, but at the end of the day, that game was about getting better. I mean, we're looking to conference where it counts. We want a championship, so that's what we're aiming towards. How tough is it to play a team like this that it seems a little bit chaotic offensively? Yeah, very physical too. Mm -hmm. um, we just have to talk on defense. Like we, me and my my, we were having a little conflicts, you know, out on the court just because we just need to talk more. We need to have more chemistry. But at the end of the day, like, do you agree on that? <laughs> no, you need to go. You need to go. <laughs> she pushes me out there. Like she's like, go Tay. She's like, pick it up Tay. Because I know you're capable of so much things out there. Yeah, and that's just what we have to do with each other. Mm -hmm. So um, as long as we stick together and we fight and we are just, uh, are we? We're just as physical as the other team. We'll be good. Yeah. Ladies, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations. Good luck on Sunday against Portland State. Thank, thank you. you.